DLC guns in Call of Duty World War II. I got all of them. This right here is the brand new Nambu Type 2 Japanese SMG. With steady aim and rapid fire, this thing is a beast. We're going to be dropping ball turrets, flawless free brawls, and acting a pure donkey's ass with it. But most importantly, find out how to never, ever miss another DLC gun again. You are now tuned in to the one and only Mr. Merciless Badass. Yeah. Welcome to the murder show. What's the goddamn deal, people? Welcome to the murder show. And boy, we got a killer game play for y'all today. Hold on to your seat and don't move your feet. This shit gonna be over with in less than two minutes. Flawless with the Type 2 on my favorite map, the headquarters. But we ain't talking about the gameplay today. Today, I want to share with y'all the, 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 the strategies and the techniques that I use to make sure that I get the new DLC guns whenever they drop. Ever since the game came out, every time they put new guns in the game, I get them on day one. But I see there's a lot of people out there still not able to pick guns up. You know what I'm saying? Guns from the first event, they still ain't got them. So I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know everything that I do. And even some of the things that people tell me to do that I don't do. But that I probably should because they got even more guns than me. So, uh, you know, with no further ado, let's get on straight into it. Because this gameplay going to be over with before you know it. Tip number one. Make sure you log in every day to the game, whether you're going to play it or not. Every day when you log in, you get a daily login bonus. Just for logging in, they give you free armory credits. Now, keep that in mind. Armory credits is the most important thing to you in this game. Armory credits, to me, are way more important than supply drops. If you have enough armory credits, then when they put new guns in the game, you can unlock a variant for each one of them, which is what I do. So make sure that you log in every day. Because the more that you log in, look at this shit, game, game over already. Every day that you log in, the more you log in consecutively, the more bonus you get every day. So don't miss a day. Make sure you log in every single day. Make sure you go to the mail and pick up your, your, your you know what I'm saying, your 200 armory credits from the payroll every four hours you can pick another 200 up so make sure that you pick up your 200 every four hours now you probably not gonna remember so put a set an alarm on your phone to go off every four hours to just just to remind you to pick up your 200 and if you're a master prestige you get 300 but check this out I just learned this last night, and shame on y'all, everybody in the murder game for not telling me this, because damn, I feel like somebody should have let me know. But I just found out on my own last night, because I played Zombies for the first time. I didn't know that if you log into Zombies, you could pick up another 200 from the mail in Zombies. And it does not affect the 200 that you get from the mail in multiplayer. So every four hours, you can pick up four to 600 armory credits for free just for visiting the mail, right? So make sure you take advantage of that. Log in every day for your login bonus. Set an alarm on your telephone to remind you to pick your money up every four hours, all right? That's tip number one, two, and three. I don't know I'm losing track. Let's just move on with the tips. Another tip, and this is something that I don't do, but... Real good friends of mine, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to C Murder, King Takeem, and everybody else. They tell me, Merciless, don't open your supply drops. Save them for the new event. But I can't save it, you know what I'm saying? Supply drops burn a hole in my pocket just like cash money. I can't hold it. But these boys got not only every gun in the game, but they got all the variants of the guns in the game because they save their drops in between events and you know what i'm saying if you save every drop that you earn in between events you'll have like between a one to two hundred drops to open when the new guns drop and what you don't know because they don't tell us but it's obvious to me because i pay attention to what's going on but day one when they first put new guns in the game 
the chances of you picking up one of those guns out of a, out of a supply drop are greatly increased compared to your odds of picking up, say, a Type 2 variant or something like that that been in the game. When they put new guns in the game, they want you to get them so they turn up the frequency of, you know, them coming out of a drop on day one, probably the first whole weekend. So save your drops and only open them when they drop new guns in the game. I never listen, but every time they drop new guns, I get pictures tweeted to me. You know what I'm saying? See murder pulling the heroic of every gun, pulling the epic. Hey man, I'm trying to tell you. I don't know if you can hold on to them, do it. But uh, if you can't, I understand. I'll be spending mine. But let's move on with the tips before we run out of gameplay. What else can you do to make sure that you always get the guns when they drop? But like I say, it's all about armory credits. So when you log in every day, make sure that you visit the little black dude. I don't know what is he, is he the major, the commander? The little black dude who giving out orders. Make sure you highlight him every day and complete those challenges to get your 300 armory credits or your supply drop. But remember, don't open the drop. Save it for the new events. You little drop shot bitch. Eat a dick, Ethan. Pause. Excuse me. If you log in every day and take advantage of those orders, you'll definitely be stacking up your armory credits. You know what I'm saying? They got at least two orders for 300 armory credits each. And they're going to have at least two for a supply drop every single day. Take advantage of that. Even if you don't do nothing else, log in and put in that work. It's going to pay off in the end. It'll help you to be able to get the guns. Because you're going to need a whole shitload of armory credits to get them all. They usually put five guns in at a time. And they usually go for about 20k each. So you're going to need at least 100 to 120k to pull all the guns if you, if, you, know, if you want every one of them. Now... Let's talk about something else that you should not do because they're going to drain you of your armory credits. What you want to not do is waste your armory credits in the quartermaster on those contracts. Do not spend no 250, 350, 400 armory credits to complete a contract that's going to give you a supply drop where you may or may not even get something good. Nine times out of ten, you're going to spend 350 or 400 to get that supply drop. You open the supply drop, and you get a bunch of bullshit in it. It's not worth your money. It's designed to drain you of your armory credits because they don't want you being able to pop all the guns open. You know what I'm saying? From the uh, collections with your armory credits. No, they want you spending card points to buy supply drops and, you know what I'm saying, play the gambling game. So don't let them fool you. Do the daily orders. Do not do the contracts. Except once a week. I think it's every Tuesday. It might be every Monday. But once a week, they put a contract in the quartermaster for 5,000 armory credits to get one of the base variants of the DLC weapons. So if you're missing any of the DLC guns, that's probably the cheapest way to get them. If you can wait. You know what I'm saying? For example, I didn't get that Japanese sniper rifle, but I like the way it sounds, so I wanted it. But I didn't want to spend 20k on it, so I just waited until they put a contract in the game for 5,000 for it, and I knocked it off. Plain and simple. I ain't missing nothing except the shit that I don't want, like the other two sniper rifles they just put in the game. You know, the lever action and the other one. You know, I ain't no sniping ass dude, so I'm cool with not having those. Even though I got enough armory credits where I could unlock them if I wanted them. You know, those melee weapons. I could knock those off if I wanted them. But I'd rather hold on to my armory credits. I got about 60k. I'd rather save my credits for some shit that really matters. So that's another tip. Don't waste your armory credits unlocking shit that ain't super important to you. Like uniforms. You know what I'm saying? Or a variant of a gun that you ain't gonna really use. Or a, a damn melee weapon. Cherish your armory credits and it'll pay off in the end. You'll definitely be able to get everything in the game that they drop on day one. Fuck with your boy, man. And if you enjoyed the video, 
feet show the pimp slap the piss out of that like button for your boy leave me a comment and be sure to hit that motherfucker subscribe button and don't miss none of this call of duty real shit it's the murder show fuck with me